Natalia, congratulations. Fantastic shooting today. I see you're back in shape. And for those who don't know, uh, outdoor world champion back in 1995 and 2007, two times. Uh, actually, the only one to beat the Koreans in the world championships. You've done it in the last two decades. This year, maybe a chance to do it in a third decade. How are you feeling about your opportunities when we get to Torino? I feel it's bad. I, I feel it's good. But uh, this competition it was uh, good enough, but not perfect for me. So I will, I will, be, I will shoot tomorrow. What will you have to do in terms of training and preparation to get yourself ready and be confident at the World Championships? Uh, like always, I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing uh, psychological prepar preparation, physical, and uh, I'm doing mother because I have three, uh, three children. So I, I'm doing many things, but I would like to, to win another one time. It would be a fantastic uh, accomplishment three decades of dominance. Can she do it again against the Koreans? The only one to do it. She's done it twice since 1995. We'll see what happens when we get to Torino. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. I will try it. Ciao. Larry Godfrey, fantastic day. Kind of tight through the course of the day. Kind of tied in that number four, number five position and moved up a, a, at the very end to, a, to sit there by yourself in a, in a very comfortable spot. And of course, as a member of the uh, British Olympic team, the host nation, you've got the automatic invite and going to be shooting with uh, some guys you've been working with for a long time. How are you feeling about the strength of the team coming into 2012? Um, the team we've got around us now is uh, yeah, it's fantastic. We've, so we've been working together for quite a long time, building up for, for London. Um, certainly as the men's team goes, it's the, the top guys are still the same team that went to Beijing. So we've got a lot of experience behind us, um, world champion uh, silver medalists in 2007. So um, I'm confident in our team. We've got a good network behind us as well now. Um, good head coach, good, good staff in, so it's good. How important is it to have that, uh, have a group that, that's got the experience, you guys have worked together for so many years and of course have the Olympic experience. How much value does that bring to the entire team? Um, I mean, it's, obviously it's beneficial because of the, cause, well, cause, just because of the experience from, I mean, I've got 25 years, Simon's got 25. We've got, you know, sort of 60, 70 years of archery experience between us. Um, so it's got to help. We've gone through a lot of things together, ups and downs. So we've, you know, we've experienced more than almost anything. So it's good to go. Well, we'll look forward to the Olympics in 2012, but this week we're focused on what you guys accomplish here. Uh, congratulations on a great day in the feet around and look forward to seeing how you fare in eliminations. Thanks very much. Cheers. Good luck to you. Raul Banerjee, another great day here in the feet around. I want to back things up a little bit back at the Commonwealth Games. It was hosted in your home nation and back in, uh, in, in New Delhi. You fared exceptional there. You left the Games as champion to win that in your home nation. What was that experience like? Yeah, it's really great because we are preparing for Commonwealth for the last two years. And after winning in the Commonwealth Games, it's, it's really time really changed for not only for me, it's for archery. Because lots of felicitation and lots of means means all more, more archery is more famous in India because everyone whenever we visit anywhere all say oh I watched your match it's a very good match and you won like this so that is very important for archery mainly because in India uh, before archery was not so famous no one knows we have to tell archery then you have to show bow and arrow then everyone can understand archery and now say whenever we go me Deepika whenever we go anywhere they say oh I Watched your match in Commonwealth Games, really great match. So now you're a, a rock star at home, right? <laughs> a bit, a bit. Good for you, congratulations. And, and to get ready and, and get your mindset around uh, competing here on the World Cup this year, what has that been like over the past several months? Yeah, really, uh, for the last two months we are preparing for this World Cup. Mainly our target is to qualify in the World Championship. So this World Cup was the preparation for us. Really, we three of us is in the Commonwealth team also and this team also maybe in the World Championship we three will be there so team combination is quite good for us so let's see what happens. Looking forward to seeing it. Congratulations Thank on you. your success. Thank we look forward to seeing how you fare this week. Thank good you. luck. Thank you.